So there are a lot of myths out there about vasectomy, uh, but when it comes down to it, vasectomy is one of the most minimally invasive and effective forms of birth control options for a couple. So let's break down those myths. So this is a common thing guys are asking me all the time. Does vasectomy lower testosterone levels? And in fact, this is a myth. Uh, the testicle has two main jobs, which is to make sperm and make testosterone. So it's not an unreasonable question, but thankfully they leave through two different ways. The first is the sperm leave through the sperm ducts or the vas deferens. These are what are snipped during a vasectomy. But thankfully the testosterone leaves on a via completely different route through the blood vessels. And this is why there's no change in testosterone levels after vasectomy. That's a myth. So this is probably the most common vasectomy myth out there. Uh, but to understand this, we've got to first know a little bit more about anatomy. So actually the majority of a man's ejaculate comes from the prostate and the seminal vesicles. And these are thankfully downstream from the vas deferens, which is the site where the vasectomy um, snip occurs. So actually the sperm fluid from the testicle is only one or 2% of the total ejaculate fluid. And that's only that one or 2% is what goes down after vasectomy. So for this reason, guys can't tell any difference in their ejaculate volume after vasectomy. That's also a myth. This is another very common myth. Uh, guys often worry if I have a vasectomy, is my sperm production going to stop? Kind of if you don't use it, you lose it phenomenon. But thankfully, this is not the case at all. The testicle has no idea that there is a vasectomy downstream and continues to produce sperm um, forever after a vasectomy. The thing is, these sperm just get reabsorbed by the body and um, a steady state occurs and uh, that's how things go. No change in sperm production after vasectomy. This is also a myth. Uh, thankfully, the, the nerves that control erections and, and sexual sensation are very far away from the vasectomy site. We go nowhere near those, so there's no changes to sensation or erections after vasectomy. And in fact, often guys report higher sexual satisfaction rates because they're not worried about fathering a surprise pregnancy and overall feel empowered. So this is a huge myth. Um, Vasectomy is the most minimally invasive and uh, most effective option for birth control. A tubal ligation for a woman is abdominal surgery and has a higher uh, complication rate and also a lower success rate. So this is really an area where guys ought to man up and own the responsibility of vasectomy and know the truth about vasectomy. This is another thing guys ask me about a lot. There were some studies years ago that showed a potential very slight correlation between a man who's had a vasectomy and prostate cancer. But to date, there's been no high quality studies that ever prove these studies to be true. And in reality, about 500,000 Americans get a vasectomy every year, and there's no known proof that vasectomy causes prostate cancer. That's also a myth. That's also a myth. Vasectomies can be reversed. The issue here is that while the success rates are very high, well over 90% if a vasectomy reversal is done within 10 years of the vasectomy, the issue is that we can't guarantee 100% success rate. So for that reason, the decision for a vasectomy should be considered a permanent decision. That said, we fully understand that uh, life changes, life happens, um, often couples change their mind or a new life event happens, and we're always happy to speak to a guy about reversing his vasectomy. So I hope this helped debunk some of the top myths about vasectomy. Uh, if you have any questions or are considering vasectomy, please don't hesitate to reach out to a local urologist and we'll be happy to help you.